Today, food was delivered to families staying in this South Shore building. In recent days, 57 Venezuelans moved into this building on South Essex. That's according to Chris Amator, who says he owns the building. I just decided, hey, I got the heat on, I got gas, I got electric, water. I go, let's film and we'll worry about the details later. Over the last nine days, Amator says he felt moved to offer shelter in his vacant apartments after visiting the city's landing center and a shelter for new arrivals. I saw five-year-olds with no jackets on the streets. You know, I was taking my jacket off, putting it on them, and, and, uh, and, and I'm like, tomorrow is going to be negative 14. I'm like, what's going on? Amator says over the last nine days, he, his family, and a couple of volunteers have taken in 448 adults and children at 15 of his residential buildings. Some neighbors posted video of the building on Essex, alleging people were breaking into the building and that the building was not safe. It's frustrating. Veronica Cotton is a lifelong South Shore resident and new business owner. But she shares she and her sons were homeless a couple of years ago and they didn't get the help they needed. Not saying that it's not right to help them, but it's not right for others not to get help as well. Amator tells us there was no break in on Essex. While he acknowledges his impromptu efforts to help new arrivals was not the most organized, today we even saw windows being unboarded. But he says he wanted to do something. I just decided to submit my free will and do God's plan, and, and I, I feel that you know I'm just going to keep doing what is right, and wherever the chips fall, that's, that's, not, that's not up to me. Amator challenges other building owners to step up during this crisis. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.